Hey guys, welcome to the latest AMA. I'm here with... Gribbly. All right, today we're gonna to be answering your community questions for this month. This is gonna be kind of like a Halloween special to add some really interesting questions. All right. So like a spooky AMA, is that what Yeah, that it's gonna be a very spooky AMA. And uh, how are you okay. doing? And do you have any plans for Halloween? <sighs> Not really, you know, we had a fun Halloween kind of Zoom party at work, uh, you know, where everyone got dressed up and, you know, we all talked to each mm -hmm. other. That was pretty fun. Uh, yeah, that was awesome. Um, but. But yeah, no, other than that, having a quiet one, I'll tell you what's exciting. Let me give you some exciting news. Like, this is the first AMA we're doing where I'm using my brand new Quest 2. Oh. So I got the Quest I got the Quest 2 going today. This thing's amazing. What a great little headset. It's amazing hardware, and I've been playing on the Quest 2 as well. And Rec Room runs beautifully, guys, on the Quest 2. It's it's amazing. Very exciting. So first AMA with the new headset. Let's, let's do it. Our first question comes from... Bothaya, yes, a really hard hitting question right off the bat. Mm -hmm. New quests win. <laughs> uh, good question. Uh, we don't have any specific date. Um, I will say we're leaning into making a bunch of ROs uh, next year. Mm -hmm. um, maybe one of them will be a quest. We'll see. All right. Well, there you go, guys. So stay tuned for that news. Uh, our second question comes from Beta Bear too. He asks, "Are you currently working on a repeated weeklies?" I know you said that you've been playing for, but they still haven't come out. Weeklies have been repeating for years, especially now with two repeats in a row. Yeah, okay, so I spoke to Boz about this, you know, as uh, as the person in charge of all things weekly. Um, and here's what he said. He said, uh, yes, he's expecting to ship something in about the next month uh, that addresses the repeat weekly uh, issue. So, yes, there's something coming within the time frame of about a month. You know, our estimates are always pretty squishy, so let's say a month, give or take, you know, a couple of weeks. Um, and then the second thing he said is, you know, just as a reminder to everybody, you know, don't forget that the weeklies are always new to new players, you know. So, like, right. even though they, they don't seem fresh to everybody, like, they are they are really uh, for, for new players. So, something coming for repeats. And yeah, for for, mo for most players who are coming into the game, you know, it's uh, they're fresh every time. So our next question comes from Bothaya again, five five five. He asks, Ooh. perhaps right. a room history tab. I often forgot the names of the rooms I've been to, and they're hard yeah. to find afterwards. Yeah, great question. Yeah, so excellent. So so uh, yeah, we 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 are working on updates to the watch, um, and so one of the next things we'll, we you're gonna see kind of get updated to the newer UI style. Mm -hmm. uh, will be the room details page is getting a pretty serious makeover. So that one's going to oh, come cool. and be the new style. Um, so that's going to be nice and fun. And then also we're working on an update to the way you browse room. So basically the play menu, we're going to yeah. update that. And uh, one of the one of the things we'll have in there is a recently played list, which is like, hey, here are some rooms that you've recently played. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you go play a cool room, you forget to like, you know, bookmark it or whatever, or make it a favorite. Um, and then, yeah, you can go, oh, what was that cool room we were in? Yeah. Look and, and see. So, yeah. Great oh. question. And, yeah. Uh, so, we are working on something like that as we update the watch. Okay. Our next question comes from Time at 2. Yes. After a bit of since transparent materials were announced, they still haven't come yet. Perhaps we'll get an update on the process of when it's going to come out? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. So, um, uh, the question is about the transparent materials that we've talked about. So, one of the Correct. top requested creative features. So, yeah. We have got them up and running internally. Uh, we, we made them work. Um, how to explain this? It's actually kind of an interesting situation. So, so we've currently got them on ice. So they're not. They're gonna take like probably a month or two longer than we thought. Oh, but okay. It's for a very good reason. Basically, when we started doing it, we saw an opportunity um, in the way that we're handling a bunch of rendering. It gets it gets pretty technical. But we saw an opportunity that we wanted to go after. And so the same people who were working on the glass were like, hmm. We see a way to make things better across the board. And so we're going to go actually go pretty deep into the way we render a bunch of stuff and uh, and make some pretty deep changes to the way things work. That just makes everything a lot better, a lot more efficient, a lot more reliable, um, saves us a bunch of memory, all that kind of stuff. So it just bas basically makes the game work better for everybody. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And it made a lot of sense to kind of get that uh, lower level of work done before we go back and add the uh, the transparent materials in. So yeah, no change of plans in that. Definitely coming, um, definitely looking cool, but we wanted to take advantage of this low level opportunity we saw. That's very much the way we work, you know. Harry, I don't need to tell you. you yeah. know, we're very kind of uh, opportunistic and uh, the way we work. And so we, you know, we, we plan on a relatively short time horizon and we, we are kind of pretty quick to go, oh, okay, we see an opportunity. We're gonna like change our plan a little bit, jump over here, come back. Mm. Um, so I know that can sometimes seem a little chaotic from the outside world, but it's just kind of how we do. 
Um, and yeah, and the result is uh, we've actually made a really, really significant upgrade to a major system, and then it'll be much, much easier and much, much uh, faster and better uh, to ship the transparent material on top of that new system. So yeah, apologies for the delay. Understand that our creators are really keen to play with that new toy. We're really right. keen for them to do it. I think it's going to be awesome, but we wanted to do it super right and uh, and get a bunch of, bu of other benefits along the way. So thank you for the question. Yeah, thank you so much for the question. That's super exciting. So yeah, stay tuned for that, guys. It's really awesome. All right, next question comes from Air Horn Who. He asks, any hints about when or what we can expect from the next Wreck Original? Oh, wow. Hmm. Okay. This was from Airhorn Who. Is yeah, Airhorn Who. I believe he's. Yeah, Air, Air okay. Airhorn Who. Yep. Okay. Um. Hmm. I'm thinking about the best way to answer this question. All right. Here's what I'll say. We've already given you a hint. Boom. Self-explanatory. So let me say. Let me, hang it. on. Let me say it again. Let me say it again. Let me. Okay. Let me look right down the camera to it. <laughs> We've already given you a hint. I'm just saying. Let me. Let me. Let me tell you first, and you can tell me if I tell him. Okay. <gasps> it was, it, the hint was in another AMA video. Oh, okay, okay. Well, I, I, I think it's, I think it's good. Oh, actually, I'll say, I'll say it this way. The hint was in another video. Ah, that, that makes us, that makes it easier for them to go through all our videos for views. They, all right, there we go. <laughs> you just want those YouTube views. Hey, we, that's what you're after. I see what you're, I see guys, what you're doing here. We're getting close to seventy thousand subscribers. I mean, come on, play button pretty soon. Let's, let's go. <laughs> With the Airhorn Who, he asked, "Are there ever going to be an in-game pets?" Whoa! Now that is cool. I uh, <laughs> oh, okay. wow. So yeah. So the pets question comes up from time to time. It's not quite at go karts level yet, but, uh -huh. but we're getting there. Um, let me let me put it this way. So uh, we on the team love the idea of pets. Absolutely love oh, it. And uh, beautiful. We, we we have certain individuals on the team who, when they see this video, they'll know who I'm talking about. <laughs> We'll never shut up about it, basically, <laughs> not to put too fine a point on it. But no, it's, it's great. We love the idea of pets. We think it would fit really, really great in Rec Room. Um, I can't give you a time for when they might come. Um, oh. You know, I know I've said in the past, like, I think that there is a version where, like, you know, we're kind of pretty deep into working on our updated circuit system, which mm -hmm. is the way you make mm -hmm. kind of cool stuff happen in room. So you'll definitely be able to make your own pets. But I know when people ask about pets, they kind of mean, hey, Rec Room pets, you know. And I think it's likely uh, at some point we'll probably live in a world where there's both kinds, where there's kind of like you yeah. go to rooms, people make their own pets, like you could have a pet, uh, whatever this thing is. <laughs> whatever um, that is, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, but, you know, but I really like the idea of like having some kind of a pet yeah. in rec room. Um, you know, we have some ideas for how it would work, but yeah, it's purely just a priority thing. we got a bunch of other stuff, uh, you know, like the, the transparent materials we just talked about, mm -hmm. like the next ROs that we're working on. Uh, like this underlying, yeah, we got so much stuff going on, um, but we love, love, love the idea. And I would be very surprised uh, if, you know, if we don't, I'd be surprised if pets don't come to rec room in some form on some day. I just don't want to set your expectation when, because I'd be just totally making it up on lying. Yeah, exactly. Um, but we love the idea. We love the idea. It'd be so cool. How cute would it be? Oh, I, uh, oh my God. It already melts my heart already. I, you, know what be, you, know, you know what I should do? Actually, here's, here's a fun thing that I should do is I should start up a Reddit thread um, mm -hmm. and kind of just be like, hey, let's talk pets and let's just you love to know <laughs> yeah. just like, you know, is there kind of like a common theme of like the kind of pets people want mm -hmm. or is it just like all over the place? Like, you know, obviously most people are going to want a tarantula or something, you know, oh, like that, pet that's, spiders is going to be the number one on the list. That's going to be the most common one. But what else? Yeah. You know, after spiders, what's the next most common? Oh, one? I don't know. Caterpillars, you think? That'd be cool, right? Yeah. I don't know. You know? It's probably, yeah, probably caterpillars, lizards, maybe. Yeah, you I know? mean, guys, we're already like thinking outside the box here. I don't know if you want to do this, but are you more of a cat or a dog person? So I would definitely chalk me up as both, although I will say oh, right now, nice. uh, I have cat, I like, so I love dogs, I love uh -huh. cats, we have cats at the moment, I have two beautiful cats, mm -hmm. I have, uh, I have uh, an 18 year old uh, cat who's just beautiful, beautiful girl, you know, she's 18, she's an older lady, mm -hmm. but just a total sweetie, oh, that's and awesome. we have a 10 year old cat who is, uh, who is uh, huge, he's about 25 pounds, he's a oh, giant, gosh. enormous yeah. creature, <laughs> um, but the gentlest soul on the planet, he's a lovely, lovely Oh, guy. that's really cool. Uh, so we love our kitties, so so if, if you held a gun to my head, oh. and said I had to pick one, I'd probably have to pick cats. Oh, cats, I'm saying it. all right, I'm going okay, there. all right, well, guys, we to, know. But I, but that said, I, but I love dogs as well. Yeah, so you're- What about, what about you, Harry? Cats Ooh. or dogs? Pick a side. Dogs, okay, that's- <laughs> I'm more of a dog person, I grew up as a dog person, but, I love cats too, pretty much mutual. So yeah, cat and dogs, let's go.
Everyone who again? He asked. Oh, he has like three questions actually. Are there ever going to be a dorm safe slots so we can save different dorms and load them in? Okay. Hmm. Uh, you know, not something we're currently working on, but yes, probably. I think that's the kind of thing we would like to do because, you know, yep. we love to see the creativity in the dorms. Uh, so, yeah, I think that'd be a real, real fun thing to do. Um, I don't know exactly how, I don't know exactly when, but love the idea and I think very likely to come at some point. Oh, that's very nice. Yeah, because I've been like going through people's dorm rooms and people have been having these buttons where they push them and they change to a different like theme which is incredible so yeah right, maybe right yeah maybe it'd be really cool and have that in the future just so one goal i think we definitely have like that mm -hmm. i can see happening uh in a much shorter time frame is we definitely want to make everything deletable in the dorm like that's okay. definitely one thing i'd like to change is that you know currently there's a bunch of stuff you can't get rid of right you can't get right. rid of the bunks you can't get rid of some other stuff mm -hmm. um, so it'd be nice at least to be able to go one step closer to like dorm room freedom by just being you can strip it back right um you know if you look at the way the new charades room works if, if people have visited the new charades that was one we built in sort of a new style where everything in that room is deletable um oh so yeah we'd like to kind of upgrade the dorm to be more like that where literally everything can be removed and that way you can like decorate it on a deeper level and then i think one step beyond that once we're there one step beyond that is you can have other kind of dorm room templates that are maybe different shapes or different sizes and you can have multiple of them stored in your watch and stuff like that oh very um, cool so yeah yeah so definitely thinking along those lines but you know <laughs> like i always say i don't want to promise specific times we're not actively working on that <laughs> right plenty of stuff uh, queued up so but yeah definitely love the idea question comes from airhorn who are there going to be more settings for graphics in the in-game oh hmm yeah, so so yeah, I checked with the kind of with the graphics crew about about your question, Airhorn, um, mm -hmm. and what they said is they're like, yeah, our graphics settings are probably due for a refresh. Like we haven't touched them in a long time, and um, we actually with some of the port work we've been doing with the Quest and the Xbox, we kind of have had our hands in the guts of that system. So I think they're kind of like thinking about like, yeah, maybe doing a refresh on that. The question they had was kind of coming back to to you guys, which was, what what kind of control would you like to have? Oh, um, right. You know, I don't think they have a really crisp idea of like, hey, well, you know, if we were going to update those settings, mm. you know, what would we add? So if, if people have got specific settings, we'd love to hear about them. Yeah, because that, that really hasn't come across uh, to me at all, really. But that does sound like an interesting question. So, yeah, guys, leave down in the yeah. comments. Like, what do you guys think we'd, we'd like to add? Or, yeah, post on Reddit. We'd love to hear, like, a lot of feedback. Okay. How about just a checkbox that says, make everything look amazing? Oh, easy. Isn't it easy? Straight off the dome, Harry. Oh Straight man. Straight off the dome. Since it's Halloween, we have to end up with a like a haunted room. Are you are you into scary rooms at all? Or I mean, I am immune to horror and scary stuff. No way. Completely immune. Yep. Guys, now I, I now I know to know what to do when I see uh, Gribbly in office. I'm gonna try to scare him. <laughs> no, can't be done. What? I'm immune. That's a that's a challenge. I, I that's don't a challenge. Have, I don't have the scary. I don't have the scary movie gene. <sighs> I no be, I can't way. be scared by a movie. That, that happen. How about how about Haunted House? Have you ever, ever been to Haunted House before? Yeah, nothing. Don't care. It's that I I it's unbelievable. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. All right, well, that sounds like a challenge. Who knows? Uh, no, no, you're good. I can, look, I can be scared by real world. Uh, of course, threats. yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> well, yeah, guys, don't do that. Obviously, don't do that. But scary movies, you know, recommend to to uh, Gribbly. Who knows? You might get freaked out by it. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. I, send me your scariest movie recommendations. Mm -hmm. Pfft, nothing. I bet. I don't care. <laughs> Texas All right. Chainsaw Massacre. Really? Texas Chainsaw Party. Uh -huh. As far as I'm concerned. Oh. Okay. What's All the right. scariest movie you've ever seen? What's the scariest movie? Oh, you've ever seen? scariest movie I've, that I've ever seen. There's so many. Have you ever seen like uh, The Conjuring, Insidious, one of those movies? No. Okay. Maybe you should check that out during Halloween. Who knows? That may be good. Maybe I haven't seen a really scary movie. That's what you're saying. Um, maybe. What was last? What's the last scary movie have you seen? Well, that's a good question. Uh. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I got a terrible memory for for. Uh, yeah, you know, it's been so a while. My, my wife likes to watch American Horror Story. Like, so ah, she watches okay. American Horror Story. It's all creepy stuff. <laughs> Whatever, get out of here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I haven't seen too much of that, but I can tell. I'm like, nah, that's that's amateur get stuff. Get out of here with that week. Get out of here with that week. That. <laughs> that's what I say to American Horror Story. All right, well, we have another question from Airhorn. Who he asked, any more updates regarding optimization coming soon? Um, so yeah, I mean, we just did a pretty big optimization push. We got our load times down a whole bunch. We reduced oh. a whole bunch of crashes. So that, that stuff, hopefully uh, people have been noticing. Um, yeah. And so, you know, some of that architectural work I was talking about a couple of rooms ago um, will help with memory. It'll help with crashes, might help with frame rate some, we hope. Uh, we'll see. 
Um, but yes, yeah, so that's the next big thing we're doing is is the kind of rendering upgrade that I was talking about. Um, will mm -hmm. uh, yeah, definitely definitely should optimize a few things. So so uh, let's let's uh, see how we go with that, and then you okay. know if we need to keep optimizing, we're going to keep optimizing. Goblins, he asks. Hello, Rec Room. I have, have something called colorblindness, and I was wondering if maybe one day mm. you would think about making a colorblind mode for colorblind community in Rec Room. Thank you for reading this message. Yeah, great question. Yeah. Um, yeah. Huh. So we, yeah, we'd love to support that better. And so one of our designers has been looking into, you know, what it would mean to do a better job supporting. And so I think uh, definitely what would help us is um, some collaboration on like what are the worst areas where we're most out of compliance. My understanding is one of the pain points is our standard selection highlight for picking up objects is mm. green, yeah. which is can be a challenging color for for some people okay. with color blindness. Um, so yeah, definitely an aspiration that we have. I, I don't want to overpromise that we're like gonna fit, you know, gonna sweep through it and do it tomorrow. As you can probably tell, we're pretty disorganized and pretty haphazard in the way we do everything. Um, but definitely, certainly long term, we want to support that as part of being, you know, uh, welcoming to everybody. Um, yeah. But yeah, I can't can't really give you a time frame, but it's definitely definitely on our list of something that we'd love to support. And I think something like the highlights about having a kind of switch to be like use an alternate highlight color. Um, is probably something we could do as an interim step. So, yeah, yeah maybe uh, if you see this, what was the person's name who asked the question? Uh, the person's name was Goblins. Goblins. So, yeah, if you see this, Goblins, uh, get in touch with us and kind of let us know the main pain points that you have. Like, what are the hardest things for you to perceive? Um, yeah. And there might be some simple fixes we can do, like just giving an alternate like setting for like, hey, render this in a different color, uh, uh -huh. you know, if you opt into that setting, for example. Yeah, thank you so much for the question there. That's a very unique question we have. I don't think we have ever gotten. So very, very cool. No, I don't think so. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Because usually we get like questions like rec room go karts where when. So <laughs> our last question, purple mustard seventeen. He asks a simple question. What are your priorities at the moment? What is the main focus in terms of development for you guys that are you guys are working on? Okay, let me think about that. So. Great question. And so, you know, I think one thing, first thing I would say is, you know, we've kind of grown the team a fair bit over the last couple of years so that we kind of have a couple of focuses. You know, it's not used to be definitely true, like, you know, 2017, we would basically be doing one thing at a time. Now we kind of do a few more things at a, t at a time. I definitely say, you know, high on our list right now is uh, trying to ship on the Xbox. That's a big one. Yeah, right. Um, you know, just like, you know, we before that it was shipping on Quest 2. Now we're really focused on getting shipping on the Xbox. Mm -hmm. um, I will say on the creation tool side, uh, getting the, the updated circuit system uh, to a state where it's ready to come out of beta and be available for general use is a very high priority. So that's something we're putting a lot of effort into right now. Mm -hmm. um, as I mentioned, the rendering upgrade that's happening is a pretty big deal. Um, what else is going on? Um, there's a bunch of stuff we're doing on rolling out the ability for people to use keys, uh, mm -hmm. uh, you know, so that they can charge tokens in their room. That's a big thing that we're doing. Oh, very uh, cool. Working on the program where we're going to pay out creators. That's something that we're actively mm -hmm. working on. Um, you and I talked about that in the kind of Future of Rec Room video we yeah. did in a while back. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, and like we said in that video, you know, the terrain tool is something that we, is coming after that same kind of uh, rendering upgrade that we're doing. The terrain tool is something we're going back to. Uh, the vehicle work, Oof, so the ability yes. to kind of create custom vehicles. We've talked about that. So all of these things are kind of happening at once. Um, we have a pretty couple of pretty fun things coming for the ability to uh, uh, customize your avatar. We have a few more upgrades to avatar customization coming. Um, it's really, really fun stuff. I was checking out a prototype this morning. Well, actually, not even a prototype, a moment in time of the implementation. Oh, nice. Very exciting. Uh, and I will say, Harry, probably something that you personally will be interested in. Oh, me! Wow! Just saying, just I, saying. Yeah. Just I am saying. now. I'm so hyped. Yeah, I'm so hyped. All right, yeah. <laughs> man. Yeah. Yes. So we got some fun avatar stuff coming. What else is going on? Um, that's probably the main things. I'm sure there's yeah. other things, but yeah, like yeah, X, like you know, if you held me down to one thing, I'd say shipping on Xbox, getting mm -hmm. the circuit system uh, ready for general use, um, and yeah, getting that kind of creator payout program rolled out. Right. Um, and getting it so that like everyone can use the kind of key system, the token system, um, that those are all important to us. I'm, <laughs> I was just going to say the exact same list all over again. But I'll stop <laughs> no, no, not at all. But we're so excited to open up our community to the Xbox players, guys. It's going to be amazing. I can't wait for that. Just building the you know bigger community. And if you guys haven't already, check out the big future video we posted. It'll be listed, link it down below. And yeah, it's gonna be awesome. So the future of Rec Room, Rec Room. By the way, before yeah. we finish up, Harry, can I just say something to the oh, people? Absolutely, can I, can I yeah. Talk to the people. Go ahead. Um, 
Well, all I wanted to say was a big welcome and hello to our Quest 2 players. We've seen yes. you know, a bunch yeah. of Quest 2 players come into the system, which is great. Uh, we're really, really happy to have you here. We hope you're enjoying Rec Room. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, please come and check out. Like I'm sure in the, the YouTube video notes, there'll be links to all of our community sites, the Discord, the Reddit. Oh, yes. Come talk to us. We love talking to people who play the game. Um, you know, for years now, we've talked to the community in ways like this and on, on Reddit. We really do listen. We really do listen to feedback. We really do try and react to uh, the suggestions and the and the comments and the criticisms we get. We always want feedback. So yeah. So welcome to Rec Room. We love to have you. We're excited to have the Xbox players coming soon. And uh, onwards and upwards. That sounds awesome to me. Thank you so I much. Feel like I, I feel like I was I was going for a bigger finish there, Harry. I no. felt like I was like going to a crescendo, uh -huh. and then I couldn't. Th I was just like, oh, oh <laughs> yeah. yeah. We just want to okay. say thank you guys so much for being such an amazing community. And again. Thank you for all the great questions we had for this AMA. I just want to say thank you so much to Gribbly for being part of this AMA as always. Highlight on my week, oh, Harry. That's awesome. So thank you so much for that. Th yeah. this, this is as good as it gets. That's how crappy well, my life is. This is no. the best. Oh, don't, <laughs> I'm kidding. Don't say I'm, that. Wait, I'm kidding. wait, what's what's behind you? What is that? There's like <laughs> whatever. Oh. <laughs> It does. I Dang it! The wiring. I know it's a wall. There's a, all right. Okay, all right. Let's do it again. All right. Try it again. Try it again. Wait. Wait. What's behind there? It's a wall. Oh. Okay, all right, guys. It's over. It's over. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But thank you so much, Gribbly. I really appreciate right. it. Thank you Thanks, so much. Harry. We'll see you guys in the next AMA. And please leave a like, comment, subscribe for everything Rec Room. And we'll see you guys later. Bye, guys. Stay safe oh. out there.